Hey, we're welcome to the front row. I don't know if that was ever you walking around with your back a little stiff after you get up or your, your hips a little sore on those first few steps. Feels like you're kind of walking into a stiff breeze until you can kind of straighten up a little bit. That happens. I'm gonna get a little personal now. I turn 50 next year and I'm okay with turning 50. 50 is amazing and I'm looking forward to it. But it's also a time for reflection. After 50 years of being active, and, and you guys can attest to this, you know, we've broken bones, sprained ankles, back surgery maybe, car accidents, I mean, you name it, right? Kids, stress, mortgage. So there's been a lot of wear and tear on the body. So 50 is a great time to reevaluate. I personally plan on being active until the very end. But what I do know is, is that it means that there's a commitment of time and if you can ask my family, right, I'm not just preaching this stuff. I am on the ground, on the floor, with that foam roller, stretching, moving around, trying to help that recovery because, I'll be honest, it gets a whole lot harder at 50. But I'm not going down without a fight. So that's what I'm here to try to help you guys realize. First thing we're going to talk about is how to keep our hips and our low back mobile because especially for men that's the biggest thing that slows us down right especially here if you look at me from the side this is flexion this is extension what happens especially with men is we lose the ability to extend a lot of different reasons i'm not going to get into it right now so what happens and i know you've seen it right you've seen guys that are kind of walking around kind of bent over let me back up a little bit guys kind of bent over walking around like I was at the beginning. So what happens is the lumbar spine gets stiff and we lose our ability to extend and also we lose the ability of our hips to extend. So we'll talk about some basic daily exercises to start with a routine. We've got to start somewhere and remember as we get more mature, right, we get a little tighter, stiffer and we also get weaker. That's called sarcopenia. But before we can work on strengthening, we have to really work on regaining mobility. So if I'm stuck in a little bit of flexion and don't have a lot of extension of my back, doing a lot of back strengthening exercises without first regaining extension is not really a great idea. We have to have mobility before we can have stability. So I've got a series of exercises that work on flexibility for the lower back and the hip that I recommend, especially if you're walking around like I was at the beginning, if you're getting stiff, or if you know someone who's walking around like that, send this video to them. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do it. There's all sorts of stuff on there that you might find helpful, but enough talk, let's get to work. The first exercise is a standing lumbar extension. Hands go on the hips. You're gonna slowly shift your hips forward as you take your lumbar spine into extension. Obviously, you would not go into pain. You go as far as you can. Repeat that five to eight times, going into lumbar spine extension. Next, we're gonna be laying on our stomach. Make sure your hips and your glutes are relaxed, and you're slowly working on coming into lumbar spine extension. I do not like pressing all the way up initially, so just come up onto your elbows and do extension. Try to keep your hips on the ground and have the movement come from the lumbar spine. Once again, five to eight reps in a pain-free range of motion. Next, we're gonna work on hip extension. So you're gonna be a half kneel position. And what you'll do is have a little padding underneath your knee. And then you're gonna come forward till you feel a stretch in the top part of your thigh, a little bit on the inside of the groin. You're gonna breathe and on the exhale, see if you can go a little bit deeper into extension I would hold it for 30 seconds, repeat that at least two times on each side, trying to get some improved hip extension. Then you'll lay on your back and we're going to pull your knee to your shoulder. You know, hold that for a five second count, repeat that on the other side, knee to chest or pull a little bit laterally, knee towards your shoulder, five second hold. Repeat that five times on each side. Next, we're gonna work on rocking a little bit here to improve the mobility of our hips and stretch the adductors a little bit. Back and forth here, a total of 30 seconds. Now, we're gonna stretch the upper back a little bit. It looks like I'm doing a crunch 
but I'm really just getting a stretch of the upper back. I'm coming towards the middle, towards the right, and then back towards the left. I probably do this two times in each position, getting an upper back stretch. Next is a lower trunk rotation. And you'll notice here that my head is slowly turning into the opposite direction of where my legs are going. This is just a limbering stretch. You'll be doing this for 30 seconds. The direction is knee to opposite ankle. Then you'll lay on your side. You can use a pillow if you need to. Your knees are bent at 90 degrees. And you're going to slowly rotate over. This is a great way to get some thoracic spine mobility as well as open up the muscles of the front of the chest. Same thing on the other side. Rotate over. I do that at least two or three times on each side until you feel like you've gained some thoracic. Next, we'll do a seated spinal stretch. So in this example here, I've crossed my left leg over my right knee. I'm rotating to the left. I'm trying to put my right elbow on the inside of my knee and then rotate over as far as I can. If possible, rotate your arm back up to get a little bit more of a rotator cuff stretch as well too. And you'd hold that position for 20 to 30 seconds. If you can't rotate all the way over, grab onto that knee and twist to the opposite direction as far as you can. So now the right leg goes over the left. I twist to the right, try to get my elbow on the inside. Rotate my arm up for additional stretch. Remember, if you can't, then that's fine. Just go ahead and grab onto that knee with your opposite arm and twist through the spine until you feel a comfortable stretch. Next, we have the full squat, and I love the full squat. Hook your elbows in between, your knees push out, and drop down. I love the full squat for ankle, knee, hip, and lumbar spine mobility. If you can't drop down into a full squat, you may need to have something underneath your ankles to compensate for that lack of ankle dorsiflexion. Try to keep that back nice and straight and avoid a thoracic rounding spine. Come up nice and slow. And then we're gonna finish with a nice standing flexion. Nice and easy, assuming there's no pain. And then what I want you to do is swing to one side and then swing to the other side, noticing if there's any tightness. Hold that there for about a 15, 20 second count and slowly come on up. Here's my guarantee to you. If you stay with that exercise program and if you work on lower back and hip flexibility, you will feel looser. You won't feel like you're 100 years old when you wake up in the morning. One particular thing before I finish, if you notice a difference from side to side, if I'm stretching out a hip and I realize, wow, one side's a whole lot tighter than the other, then go back and give the tight side a little bit extra love because what you want to do is balance things out a little bit. So if I'm already a little bit tighter on this right side, I've got to try to bring that back in line again. Same thing for working on strength. If you notice, man, I'm just a lot weaker on one side versus the other, give the weak side a few more sets to try to bring that up because a body in balance is more resilient. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Comment down here and subscribe to the channel over here and good luck.